Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to this beautiful evening in South Florida. How blessed are we that we have live in such a beautiful place, and now we have Shabbos to go along with it, to rest and relax and breathe a little bit. This last week, it's gone. Nothing we can do about it. The next week, it's not here yet either. Can't do anything about it either. We just have this moment right now. I'm Robert Davis. I'm one of the rabbis here. Rabbi Ethan Baer, one of the other rabbis here, and we're blessed to be able to help lead you in prayer tonight. And let's all stand up and greet each other and wish each other Shabbat Shalom as we sing a little bit. Please be seated. I'll ask you to turn in your prayer books to pages to page two in preparation for the blessings for Shabbat candles. Emmett uh, Berman becomes bar mitzvah on Monday, and we're looking forward to that special moment in his life. So I want to invite Emmett and his family to come up to lead us in the kindling of Shabbat candles and in Kiddush. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As our brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. And in preparation for the Kiddush, I'll ask you to turn to page four. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. The heaven and the earth were finished and all their array. On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing, and God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on it God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. Me, 
Lechayim. And as they're having a little Lechayim, I'll ask everyone to turn to pages 12 and 13 as we continue to welcome Shabbat. Shabbat. <laughs> Is me rot na re hallo Shiru la donai shir khadash Shiru la donai kol ha aret Shiru la donai barku shemo Basru mi om le yom yeshu ato Sapru va goyim kevodo Bechol ha 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 mi Gadol Adonai, Um Hulal Meyohon, Norahu, El Kol Elohim, Ay, 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 Ki Kol Elohe Hamim Elilim, Badonai Shamaim Asa, Od Vehada Lefanav, Oz ve tiferet ve mikdashom Nay 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 And we formally welcome Shabbat with L'cha Dodi. It's found on page 20. We're going to do verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. And just as Abraham in this week's Torah portion, we read about Abraham going out on his journey to find his way. In a sense, this is the reflex of, of that where the Shabbat comes back and finds its way home to all of us and we find our way to Shabbat. L'cha Dodi. Had <laughs> Shabbat <laughs> Lechadodi, <laughs> Shabbat <laughs> 
dejad el alma, y besalón, a tered para gambesimcha, u vetso la toche mune, am segura, boi kala, boi kala, le chadoti, ni krat kala. In the Shabbat, the Kabbalah, the Dodi, the Kratkala, in the Shabbat, the Kabbalah. In this week's portion, we're called to be a blessing, and this blessing that we're going to do is the call to bless. It's the Baruch Hu, page 28. Nine and I 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 and Page 30. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechok Ma'apoteach She'arim, Uvidvina Mishanei Itim, Umachalif Et Hazmanim, Umisader Et HaKochavim, Bemishmerotehem Berekia Kirtzono, Bore Yom Valayla, Goleal Or Mipene Choshech, Vechoshech Mipene Or, Umavir Yom Umevi Laila, Umavdil Ben Yom Uvein Laila, Adonai Tzavot Shemo. El Chai V'Kayam, Tamid Yimloch Aleinu Le'olam Va'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Everlasting Love, page 32, Everlasting Love, you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we'll meditate on your laws and your commandments. We'll rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, ohev amo Yisrael. We take a moment now to meditate on words of Shema. We think about our connection with each other, with nature, with all of time, the past, the present, and the future, and we meditate on that oneness. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevon Mahuto Le'olam Va'ed Please be seated. We continue with the chanting of Ve'ahavta found on page 36. Ve'ahavta e Adonai Elohecha bechol levavecha uchol nashecha uchol meodecha vechayu Hadevarim ha ele Asher anohi metavecha Hayom alevavecha 
Veshinantam Levanecha Vedibarta Bam Beshivtecha Bevetecha Uvlechtecha Vaderech Ushochbecha Uvkumecha Uksartam Leo Al Yadecha Vecha Yulito Safo Bain Enecha Uhtatam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha. Liman tizkeru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim lelohehem. Ani adonai elohehem. Asher hotze ti etchem me eret mitraim lio lachem lelohim. Ani adonai elohechem. It's Mazel Tov, Emmet. Thank you. As I said, Emmet becomes bar mitzvah on Monday. Wonderful moment for him and for his family's life. You can take a seat unless you want to stay up here. You're welcome to. Mazel tov. Let's read together on the top of page 39. Standing Standing on the the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Micha Mocha, page 40. Rabbi Harry Jolt of Blessed Memory, who was a soldier in World War II, told me that when, uh, you know, this saying that there are no uh, atheists in foxholes, it's Veterans Day coming up here. Mm-hmm. And Rabbi Joel said, uh, if you, you might have been an atheist uh, or whatever your religion was, but everyone was saying pretty much the same thing when they were in a foxhole. And it's the prayer that we're going to pray on page 42, the Hashki Venu, this prayer that prays that we're going to be able to rest with some sort of shelter and that we'll wake up with life renewed. And just to remind you all, next Shabbat, Dan Nichols is coming. Dan Nichols is a camp song leader, a camp celebrity, really. Um, and he is coming next weekend. And, um, and this Hashki Venu he wrote, and I'm sure we'll sing again next week. Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom V'hamidheinu 
Continue now, ready for our silent prayer, our time to talk directly to God and our service using the words on the, on the, in the prayer book and in our own hearts. Um, so we turn to page 46 for uh, the prelude into the Amidah, the Adonai Sefatai, and then we will uh, continue out loud for the first couple paragraphs and have time for our own prayer. So please rise as you're able, page 46. Adonai sefatai tiftahu fi ay gita hilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu v'elohe avotenu v'imotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak. Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha El Hagadol, Hagibor, Vanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Bekone Hakol, Bizoher Chaste Avot Vimahot, Ume Vigula, Live Nevenehem, Lema Anshemo Beahava. Man the Jose, who Moshia, who my gain, Baruch Adonai, my gain of Raham, there's Ratsa Raham, Atagi Burle Lamadonai, Mechaea Kola Tarav le Hoshia, Mashiv Haruha, who Morid Hagashem, Mechal Kel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaea Kol Berachamim Rabim. So homech no flim verofeh holim, umatir asurim, umekahaye memunato, vishene afar, micha mocha bal givurot, umido melach, melech me mi to mechahaye, umat meachishua. Veneman atal chayot hakol, Baruch atadonai, Mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh vashim chakadosh, Ukdoshim bechol yom yuluha sala, Baruch atadonai, Ha'el hakadosh.
In that image of the Sukkot Shalom, the shelter of peace of the Hashkivenu, we extend that in our final prayer of the Amidah, Shalom Rav, page 60, as we pray for peace within ourselves, within our families, within our community, um, within our state and country, within Israel, and within the whole world. Um, so let's sing together these words of Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki hatahu melech adom Lechol ha-shalom Shalom Rahab, Al Israel, Am Tasim Leolam. Shalom Shalom Rahab al Israel am Tasim Leolam. Shalom Rahab al Israel am Tasim Leolam. Tasim Leolam. Tasim Leolam. We'll continue with a special prayer, a prayer for those in need of healing in our own lives and the lives of those in our community. Um, in your pamphlet are names of uh, all those we're praying for as a community, healing of body, mind, and spirit. So I invite you to look at those names. Um, and if you're thinking of someone in particular, whether they're listed or not, you are here. So I invite you to say their names um, out loud. Family of Max Miller, blessed memory. with all their names in our hearts, we continue with the Misha Berach, page 253. <laughs>
In a moment, we're going to pray a Shek Yanu, this blessing that says how great it is that we made it to this moment, arrived here to this moment, not the next moment, just this one right here. It's a beautiful prayer, and in preparation for that prayer and for the Elenu, first I want to ask uh, Emmett and his family to come on up here to the Bima, because we're going to be opening the ark doors in a moment, not yet. Any children, all the kids are outside, I think, any children of any age that wants to join us up here as well. But in preparation for the Shekiano, I want to ask anyone who actively served in the armed forces to please stand. Mm -hmm. Actively served in the armed forces. Beautiful. (laughs) Stay standing. The the statistics are kind of amazing that if you, please stay standing, okay? Because we're going to join. No, stay standing. Stay, Fred, stand, stand. 47.51%, almost 50% of Americans over the age of 75 years served as active members of the military, which is much, much less than the the next generations. Much more. Much more, excuse me. Thank you. And there are over 17 million veterans, almost 18 million veterans in the United States. Depending on which website you go, there could be as many as 21 million. So if one of your parents or a member of your immediate family or a child served as an active member of the military, I want to ask you to rise. If one of your grandparents or an aunt or an uncle served in the military, please rise. If you have Canadian a, and Israeli military. A Cana- I was too, just going to say, anyone uh, Israeli military, you have a family member that helped the state of Israel. Shulamit, you got to stand. A family member who helped the state of Israel. Come stand. And the rest of us are going to stand and give honor to them. I'm going to say this blessing in honor of all those who have served. God of compassion, God of dignity and strength, watch over all the veterans of the United States and Israel and the world. In recognition of their loyal service to our nation, bless them with wholeness and love. Shelter them, heal their wounds, comfort their hearts, grant them peace. God of justice and truth, rock of our lives, bless our veterans, these men and women of courage and valor, with a deep and abiding understanding of our profound gratitude. Protect them and their families from loneliness and want. Grant them lives of joy and bounty, May their dedication and honor be remembered as a blessing from generation to generation. Blessed are you, protector and redeemer, our shield and our stronghold. And let us say together, Amen. Amen. And that's written by a modern Israeli uh, uh, poet, Alden Salavi, a wonderful poet. And I ask us as well now to turn towards the east, toward Yerushalayim, as the ark doors are open, as we continue with Elenu on page 282. Alleen de Shabbat Ladon Hakol, la teitz kedula leoseh reishit, shelo asanu kegayu yaratzot, velo samanu kemishpelot adama, shelo sam chalakenu kahem, vegohor aleinu kechol amonam. Anachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech, malachhe hamlachim, al kadosh baruchu, venemar, vehayadonai, lemelech al kol haaret, vayom hahu. Bayom Havu, Ye Adonai Echad, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo Echad. Please be seated. We take a few moments now to remember all those who came before us, may have died in years past at this season, or may have died in recent days. As a congregation, we remember the more than six million men, women, and children 
who were murdered in the Shoah and the Holocaust. Remember those who died in the struggle to reestablish the modern state of Israel and have died since that time, making sure our homeland exists for us and for Jews everywhere. We remember all those who perished in the name of liberty, freedom, justice, righteousness, and all, all those soldiers that have died in years past, making sure that we have that liberty and freedom and justice. And we remember as well all the innocent victims of hatred, ignorance, and terrorism and natural disasters. On this Shabbat, we remember friends and family whose names have lovingly been inscribed on plaques which are in our alcove of remembrance and whose yurt sites are being observed at this time. Remember Paul S. Burkow, David M. Berger, Rodolfo Berkowitz, Dave Bloom, Irving H. Chait, Charles Cooperman, Myron Fabricant, Lena Goldstein, David D. Groskin, Pearl Epstein Heller, Harold Harvey Hockman, Sylvia Kaplan, Jacob Kirsch, Elizabeth Pachris Kleinberg, Joseph Levinson, Ann Mark, Rose Papalau Noroff, Paul Nodowitz, Bart Nodowitz, Selma Orit, Robert Podvin, Gus Presser, Louis Radin, Phyllis Samet, Ruth Sherman Schaefer, Isidore Solomon Shapiro, Peggy Shear, Phyllis Marcia Simon, Carlin Sintow, Ophella Steinberg, Cheryl S. Wexler, and Jacob Yawit. And we remember as well friends and family whose yurt sites are being observed at this time. Harold Abel, Edith Applebaum, Jack Barron, Avram Ben Yitzchak, Irving Camion, Irving Cohen, Irving Dopkin, Henry Edelman, Irving Fertel, Ralph Friedland, Benjamin Gold, Margaret Goodman, Estelle Kisilov Haber, Shirley Cantor, Lizzie Kennan, Elena Breiterman Kolker, Robert Kuttner, Cheryl Lovett, Walter W. Marks, Herman Midas, Harvey Merkin, Sue Miller, David Moskovitz, Stanley Person, Irving Robbins, Andre Roth, Stanley Roth, Janice Swed Rothline, Gertrude Samuels, Isidore Simberg, Selma Snyderman, Sam Srednick, Joseph Stern, Sarah Switkin, Zoila Wasserstein, and Arnold Weiss. We remember friends, family who died in recent days, and their families remain in the shloshim of mourning in the 30-day period of mourning. Remember Mildred Millie Gould, Nancy Lifter Wolin, Seymour Goldberg, Justin Foxworthy, Bob Campbell, Earl J. Broidy, Geraldine Osikow, Gary Lehman, Harriet Pearson. And although it's not traditional for us to mention names before burial, we remember also Max Miller, uh, of blessed memory, who died um, in the last uh, period of time, and his family's here sitting over in the seats that Max sat for, uh, for all the time that he was with us, and we remember all those names. And if there is a name that I haven't mentioned, you're in a period of mourning, you're saying your site, you have Kaddish, I'll ask you to please rise and mention those names out loud, and please remain standing. Beautiful, thank you, thank you. And there is a Kristallnacht uh, observance at the uh, Holocaust Memorial this Sunday at six o'clock to remember all those uh, who died, not just on Kristallnacht, but in the Holocaust as well. Zecher Tzadik Libracha, may the memory of all the righteous be a blessing to us. And I ask you to rise and with one voice recite words of Kaddish, page 294. Yit Gadal, Viet Gadash, Shemei Rabbah, Vialma, Divra, Hirute, Vial Mlech, Malchute, Bechaye Chon, Vialme Chon, Ufchaye, Duchol, Beit Israel. Bagalad vizman karib yimru amen. Yehe shme raba mevarach le'alam alame amaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit par v'yit roman v'yit nase. V'yit hadar v'yit halal shme d'kudusha b'richu. Le'ila min kol b'rchata v'shirata. Tush b'chata v'nechamata. Da'amiran v'yalma v'yimru amen. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya. Vichayim alenu vial ko Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom. 
Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael v'yimru amen. May the source of peace grant peace to all of you who mourn, comfort all who are bereaved, and send healing to all who are saddened. As together we say, amen. Please be seated. Invite up now Dennis Russ to share greetings on behalf of the board and the congregation, and also want to extend an invitation. Just as many of you uh, celebrated Max's, uh, bar, we celebrated another bar mitzvah when he was a hundred. Uh, the family is inviting you to attend his service, which is on Sunday at 11, 11.30 here at the temple. Dennis. Thank you, Rabbi. Yeah. And thank you, Rabbi Davis and Rabbi Bear, for beautiful Veterans Weekend um, Shabbat services. My condolences to Max's family. My congratulations to Emmett and to the Berman family. Um, it's a pleasure to, for me to welcome you all to our services this evening on behalf of the board of, board of Trustees, which I'm proud to serve on, and to make brief announcements. Um, on Tuesday, November 12th, this Tuesday, Daniel Sokach, Karen, did I say that right? Um, will be here and he is the director of the New Israel Fund, and it's an important organization that's putting forth progressive thoughts and, and actions on behalf of uh, our community in Israel. Um, on November 13th, on Wednesday, begins the season of Holiday Bazaar, and those are in the Temple Social Hall, and you're all invited to it. Next weekend, next weekend during Shabbat services. Um, as Rabbi Bayer mentioned, Rabbi, Rabbi Davis as well, we're pri privileged to have an international vocalist, song leader. I mean, you know, the high end of the camp season was the song leader. And we're celebrating Camp Shabbat with all of the folks who went to camps and Jewish camps around the country. and. Uh, Shelley does uh, important work on behalf of the URJ in the camp community. Um, so join us next Shabbat, Friday night, and uh, Saturday morning. As well, my dear friends, on uh, Saturday evening at uh, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, is a special Kabbalah service, Abdallah. Abdallah service, for those who have been members of the congregation for 25, 50, or 75 years. And I see some of you here who I've known for that long, and I hope to see you next week. I say, my dear friends, because those of you who were a part of uh, services 50 and 60, 70 years ago remember Rabbi Leon Cronish would begin his sermons every week talking about my dear, welcoming my dear friends, and he created a community um, with, with the, that phrase. Mark Baranek on Monday, November 18th is hosting a special film screening, Back to the Fatherland, with questions and answers to the film director and on Tuesday, November 19th at 6 p.m., the Sisterhood is hosting a mezuzah-making uh, workshop with Grace Sherman. So those are activities that are occurring in the next two weeks. Um, I welcome you all this evening, and of course every evening, every day, um, to our, our congregation, and uh, extend many blessings on behalf of the board of Temple of Shalom. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. It can be scary to leave the familiar, especially the people, family, friends, and community one knows, even if it is for a journey of purpose and fulfillment. The opening lines of this week's Torah portion, Lech Lecha, emphasize both the pain and promise embedded in any transition. God says to Abram, Lech lecha me arzacha umi moladatcha umi beit avicha el haaretz asher arecha. Go for you from your land, 
from your birthplace and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And immediately after emphasizing each of these aspects of his life that he will be leaving behind, God reassures Abram with this threefold blessing. And I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Rashi says that these promises of blessing speak to the three worst aspects of travel at that time. Travel could diminish one's reproduction, that is, ability to grow a family, potentially. It could diminish one's money, because moving is expensive. And it can diminish the name, because one's good reputation must be earned again in a new place. As we know, Abram will become Abraham, adding that letter He, one of the letters of God's name, to his, the gematria of Abraham, adds up to 248, the number of all the positive mitzvot. It's also important that the first two unique words of the parsha, lech lecha, means go to you or go for you. Abram's journey will lead to personal fulfillment, both pleasure and benefit. Is there indeed a greater pleasure or benefit than stepping into one's destiny? Is there anything more fulfilling than making progress on a journey that will lead to actualizing God's purpose for you? Abram's journey is dramatic. He will establish the covenant and household of Israel with Sarah. He will complete ten trials of which this commandment, Lech Lecha, is one. He will become the first person in Torah to establish an enduring relationship with God as both a tzaddik and a chassid, a righteous and a pious one. And he will be the first prophet to argue with God for the sake of truth, justice, and compassion. In the Sfat Emet's interpretation of the opening of our Torah portion, he immediately discusses how God's words to Abraham also function in each of our lives, maybe less dramatically, but still very much relevant. He says, Now surely each person was created for a particular purpose. There must be something that we are set, that we are to set right. A person who achieves that is called righteous, tzaddik, walking a straight path of justice. But Avraham Avinu is called a lover of God, chassid. He went beyond the line demanded by law. The chassid serves God in order to become attached to the root of the mitzvah, ever seeking to hear new things. That's the Sfat Emet's teaching, a famous Hasidic rabbi. Abraham's journey is a model for each of us to emulate. None of us is a prophet, yet each of us does have a purpose for which we needed to be created. The path of discerning and going toward that purpose might be scary. It might entail sacrifice, but it also results in untold benefits and blessing. God's final statement in this opening of the Parsha is that God will bless those that bless you and curse those who curse you, and all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. This too is a rebalancing of the isolation that Abram will surely experience as part of his leaving. There will be times in Jewish history, if we think collectively, when we will have to stand apart. It will be lonely. We will be a minority in places where God and God's worship seem remote, even non-existent. Yet we must be courageous in our Judaism, even in those times. We must be true to God and Torah. But the corollary to that apartness is also that we will be connected to all families of the earth. Other minorities and groups will learn from our experience. And those whom we lift up and those who align themselves with us and our values, these groups will also be for blessing. So in these instructions from God, we have the commandment both to set ourselves apart, but also once we've actualized and established the covenant with God, reassurance that we will no longer be alone. The wisdom that comes with this sacred tradition and responsibility, this is to be shared and its blessing extended beyond our own people. Looking at the opening words of the Parsha, the 19th century German-Jewish commentator Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch teaches that we, have a microco- that we have a microcosm for the unfolding of Jewish history and Jewish experience through the ages. Be courageous and stubborn and sticking to our own path, and at the same time know that this commitment, as hard as it will be, will also be deeply rewarding. For centuries, we might feel isolated or misunderstood, but in the end, we will be redeemed. And Abram's going forth from Ur to Canaan, the land of Israel, 
Abram sows seeds for the future redemption. The descent into Egypt, which follows Bereshit, um, at the, the end of this whole book of Bereshit, details another national leave-taking, which, we, which will lead to a greater reward, the bestowal of Torah on us and our generations. In our own day, we, the Jewish people, who live by the emet, the truth of Torah, that was a coincidence, are called upon to be guardians, not only of Judaism, but also of democracy. Part of our purpose as a people is to protect the rights of all people to self-determination and from the corrupting influence of profit. It is up to us to regulate, to put checks on capitalism so as to protect the interests of all people and to protect objective truth from voices that would make no distinction between truth and faith in the personality of a leader. If all the families of the earth will be blessed insofar as they acknowledge the one God, so too the families of the earth will be blessed insofar that all people protect truth from the onslaught of constant claims of fake news and conspiracy, which are the enemies of democracy. Truth is the foundation of democracy and prerequisite to justice. May we all follow Abraham's footsteps and seek truth no matter where it takes us and no matter the sacrifices involved. Shabbat shalom. So we will conclude our service with Shalom Alechem, which is the traditional prayer we sing around our Shabbat tables on Friday night, hopefully where we are all headed next, um, somewhere to eat and to continue our Shabbat celebrations. So let's all rise and turn to page 24 and do a little Shalom Alechem. Shalom Alechem Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elion, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachi, Makadosh, Baruch. Boachem the Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi Elion, Mimelech. Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Nile Shalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elion Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Seitchem Le Shalom Malachi Hashalom Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom.